What's up, guys? It's Coach Reed Hall back here with COVID-19 workout number three. In the first workout, we did a full body strength routine with a little extra dynamic component at the beginning. In our second workout, we had kind of a speed power and conditioning type of workout where we're working on speed, agility, footwork, and jump mechanics. In this workout, it's going to be a full body strength and movement quality type of workout. Now, in this one, we're doing it a little bit different. You're going to have seven exercises to complete, and you're going to complete the exercise one after the other. You can rest for 20 seconds between the exercise, but you completing all seven exercises equals one round. I want you to complete three to five rounds. Now in certain places, I've added a dumbbell or a kettlebell to the workout. If you don't have a dumbbell or a kettlebell, that's totally fine, but you need to get creative. For instance, you could use, I don't know, a textbook or a backpack or, you know, a bag filled with textbooks or something. You just need to get creative. Let's go. This exercise is a single leg squat to a bench or a box. Now this is an amazing exercise for a beginner or newer trained type of athlete because it's very challenging. But for an older, more trained athlete, it's also just a very good knee health type of exercise. So it's one of those exercises that stays in your training as you progress as an athlete. Now when you're doing this, you want to really focus on controlling that lowering face when you're coming down very slow. So you want to set up with good posture in your back, your arms out front, and your foot flat on the ground. You're going to squeeze your butt and push your heel into the ground and drive your arms towards your back. In that top position, make sure your abs are tight and your glutes are tense. And you're going to sit back coming down very slow. Think you're controlling every inch of the movement on the way down. You need to focus on keeping your abs tight, glutes tense, keep this in perfect posture. So I'm going to set up into my plank, squeezing my abs and my butt hard. I'm going to reach forward and touch. This exercise is called banded lateral walks. I can either use a band that looks like one of these ones, you know, either a lower resistance or higher resistance, depending on how strong you are, or I could use a mini band that looks like this one. First, I'll demonstrate with the mini band. So I'll put the band around both ankles. I'm gonna start my feet under my hips. I'm gonna have a small bend in my knees. I wanna imagine my legs are metal rod. So it's just my hip moving. I'm gonna step and stretch the band. Okay, so I'm gonna make however many reps I tell you, but normally about 15 repetitions each way. And I'm feeling the tension in my glutes and through the lateral part of my legs. It's gonna step and stretch. The next one is I could do it with one of these bands. And how you do that, you step on the band and you now pull into an X pattern. The same idea, step, stretch. Side plank leg raises is an amazing core strengthening exercise that more specifically focuses on strengthening our abdominals, our obliques, our glutes, and also the leg raise helps strengthen the muscles on the outer aspect of our thighs. When setting up, place your elbow so it's aligned directly under your shoulder. Your feet should be located on top of each other and your hips should be pushed up. It's extremely important that your neck, back, butt, and leg run in a straight line. This exercise is a single leg RDL to a knee drive. Now it's an amazing dynamic stability exercise. So you want to start with a small bend in your knee, you're going to push your butt back hinging at your hips. As you're doing this, you're reaching your arms forward and then you squeeze your glutes and drive your knee up into the air. You want to keep your foot firm and flat on the ground. Make sure when you're doing this, you're keeping your hips neutral so they're not rotating to either. This exercise is called a half kneeling dumbbell shoulder press. So Sophie's going to set up. So her heel is right under her knee, so that's a 90 degree angle, back leg's a 90 degree angle. On the side where her knee's on the ground, she's going to pull form a dumbbell shoulder press. She comes down, you can see the elbows in front of her body, it's out just a little bit. She finishes the press, her arm's actually going to cover her ear. So it's not touching her ear, but I mean, we're not pressing forward, we're pressing straight up. She's going to keep a fist here and keep her core tight so there's no extra movement in her body. It's slow on the way down and drive on the way up. One arm dumbbell rows. Focus on strengthening the muscles in your back. More specifically, the latissimus dorsi, which is the big fan-shaped muscle across your back and also the muscles in your upper back that surround your shoulder blades. When setting up, you want your knee on the bench on the opposite side that you're rowing from. That knee is set slightly further back than your hip. Also on that same side, your hand is anchored onto the pad. You want to keep your weight through that hand that's pressed into the pad. Throughout the entire exercise, you need to keep perfect posture in your back. So you want to keep your core tight and your hips in a neutral position. This exercise is called a goblet lateral lunge. 
dollars. So I'll either hold on to a, a kettlebell or a dumbbell. I'm gonna hold it in this position at my chest, okay? So I'm gonna step over to a side lunge, sit back, so I'm sitting back into my heel here. My butt's pushed back, good posture my back. I push through that heel and come out. Then I can step the other way, sinking back. My knee's in line with my second toe, so my knee's not collapsed in. Push that heel, come back. Step out, sink into it, and then you stretch through my core. My butt's pushed back, push through that heel and come out. So I think if I'm at this lateral view here, step out, push. Thank you for joining me to COVID-19 workout number three. I'll be hitting you up with a new workout sometime soon. If you could do me a favor, please subscribe to Reed's Workouts YouTube channel and you'll get access to our videos whenever they're released. Another thing you could do to help is share this video with anyone you think that might benefit. The more people we can have viewing these videos and educating on how to train to be a high performance volleyball player, the better. Anyways, guys, thanks again for tuning in. I'll catch you later.